Welcome back to our ongoing Office 365 series. We are at OneDrive and data migration is the last tab that we need to see. If you click on this one, it takes us to a document that's basically help the document for you that you can migrate to OneDrive for free using the SharePoint migration tool. So it's the same exact same tool that you can use. Uh, in this case, they are saying that you can share, you can move files from your local computer or from a network drive, like if you have files uh, uh, server. Um, or oh, we ha where else we have seen this uh, tool, uh, migration uh, SharePoint migration tool? I think we saw it in SharePoint Admin Center. If we can go there, is it? No, it opens up another web page for us. We don't want to go to the web page. It should be in the newer interface. Migration. We covered a uh, migration. Uh, all of these. I use. It should be somewhere right there. Migration. So in this video, we covered these tabs. You can go and watch that video if you haven't already. And here it was when we saw that it's the like client or you can get the de desktop uh, like download tool the difference is that client is like client is installed on each machine this tool is for you if you read this one you can run on behalf of your users so the difference between client and the desktop tool is that client uh, tool is installed on all of the computer that is constantly backing up users uh, or syncing more like syncing their they uh, data in real time while client is obviously it's the migration thing that you run to move all the files so we're gonna go and download this one and if I go there you see this name is exactly the same SharePoint migration tool and I want you to know that yes SPMT SharePoint migration tool if I if, even if I click ah it's take it's uh, downloading the file so I'm gonna go and download it from here agree to the terms in exact same file size we can we can save it but choose to open um, we can and let's open it oh I, I, there was a already downloaded okay anyways let's uh where is it so it's downloading or install being installed in the back end um, so I'm installing it inside a virtual machine so I don't have to worry about you know all those just uh, registry editor entries and deletion and um, the, it's slows Windows down I am signing in with uh, my admin account like the main account so let's see what we are presented with and they are they're saying that it's not a tool to just uh, transfer your files f from your computer to you know uh, cloud there is much more than that it's you can migrate files between uh, share like it from, from the file sharing things uh, uh, if, like a folder shared or SharePoint server sites like uh, I told you that before SharePoint online they used to be like SharePoint uh, that you could download and install and make all uh, your local server so with Office 365, you get to have the server with Microsoft rather than to having to worry and set it up yourself. Then you can get from the SharePoint online. You can transfer it from there as well, like the online thing. OneDrive for business and Microsoft Teams. So it's a multi-purpose tool. And you see it's saying that uh, where, where where are your files? Is it in 2012 or 2013, 2010 and 2013 uh, SharePoint server locally? Is it a file share that uh, yeah, a computer or uh, on a network file drive? It could like a file server or you know uh, uh, a drive they attach. 
uh, SAN, NES, NAS, or it's like a bulk migration where multiple users and multiple uh, computer or, or network uh, locations will be assessed. So this one is uh, with the CSV file. We cannot do that. We we haven't set it up like I have to go and set this up and then do it I might do that but right now I'm gonna just go with the uh, a local computer and choose folder let me see this PC documents let's go to download should have something What's in downloads? Yep. So these are the wallpapers that I downloaded for this purpose. And I thought they will be saved in documents, but they were not. They were under downloads. So what I'm gonna do is <clears throat> um I'm gonna this make this a wrap up uh, OneDrive video. So it's this uh, first uh, type actually gave me the idea. So what I'm gonna do is if you remember when we were uh, in here and we were going through different files the sync uh, the first link was uh, like this was not uh, removing the sync button and we uh, read that uh, uh, it could take time when we were doing storage video we saw that 512 GB was not reflected on a user's account so we said that we're gonna make a wrap up video to it in the end to see if that change has taken effect. Next, uh, with data migration, uh, I clicked it on again. What I want to do with data migration, one thing is simple I can simply upload all of these files, right? But if you, this is application, application normally means exe. If I go and click on it and go to the properties, it's an EXE. And if you remember somewhere in the uh, OneDrive, we saw it's sharing. These are the for the links. This is for the no. Somewhere we saw that uh, you could block uh, yeah, right there specific file type. So later, uh, first I want to go and send the files. Then I want to come here, change the f uh, block uh, exe files, and then for for another user, I want to sync and see if that happens or not. Right. So right now we are just gonna go simply do just go to download folder okay next oh there's no okay so out of that folder everything will be document library form templates documents site pages so documents create folder beginning for admin for admin create so this is where we can see them and migration name your migration migration I hope add another we get another source like if a user have a, a multiple location where he he or she has saved files we can add another one like I could go make up and say that he wants his uh, documents to be uploaded as well again documents create for admin doc right next we have two uh, location sources destination they are going here you see but let's go click on it only perform scanning so basic yeah so we can turn it on and it will perform the scanning start mega if no issue, issues can be found if there was no issues just start sending the files preserve file share permission so 
whatever the permissions were set locally on the files will be reflected or preserved for on the server as well so what does that mean if you remember my videos from let me find so if you remember this video or if you have seen if, if not um, it might be a good idea uh, to go watch this video basically files uh, rights uh, through active directory is uh, when some user have rights to a file or folder and others don't so with act azure active directory this will be the same because we are working with the cloud now so if a user does not have permission they they will not be able to see them on the sharepoint even if uh, like it's normally that uh, location is accessible to them they will not be able to so we can turn it on Mer migrate file version history it's like the version number on the files and azure active directory lookup and with this like right it's right there and there are more settings journal only perform scanning use mapping file like if you have a file you can select it from here keep all version select date this is with invalid character like if invalid character still send them one note folder as one note notebook run once so do you want to read on it or not run up to five successive times and use custom azure storage i hmm like uh, i said uh, in the previous video that uh, Azure is not just Active Directory it's much more than that so if you have part storage and you want the, these files to be migrated to there uh, you can do so and rather than to saving them in Office Online OneDrive uh, by selecting that option it will go to your Azure web space so here I want to keep normally I just pause the video here but this migration uh, I can actually pause it but I don't want to uh, so it's, it's just migration details what's going on and if I clicked it it's uh, took me to this page summary report something so it's gonna give you s downloading see this one is going to the here communication site and it's migrating and I have like about 90 megabits a megabyte total scan 30 items or scan issue with zero item with scan issue because we uh, did not put any restrictions so all the files are good to go once I go and put dot exe in there it will tell me if there are like three it will say three items with scan issues it should like uh, that's my assumption and then next line is zero items out of 38 migrated because it's still a work in progress and the last one is zero bytes out of 14 megabytes migrated I think it's uh, about the first or second file that uh, or any file for that matter that's being trans uh, migrated So now it's saying 17. Ah, okay. So you see it's uh, scanned uh, 17 over there, 38 here. So it's giving you a preview of uh, each uh, source location so nine have already been already been migrated and about 19 megabytes has been uploaded out of uh, 90 
it's kind of slow so let's see what we have in the <coughs> more details we can go here from here let's go performance tab and the ethernet so send and receive is not what happened to my sent 32 kilobytes that's received so let's check on the host machine on the host machine performance even at zero and zero how's the data being sent then this is weird actually very weird over here we have some So that's done. Now it's going through this one. Migration complete. It's scan done. And it's going to start anytime. This would be the pa pause button and then play button. Like resume. So if you s notice, this 50% is not based on the data. 50% is based on the sources so this sh should really make it uh, based on the files size is combined that full, full data uh, I'm gonna close it out here Let's pause the video here um, because uh, it's nothing is happening there and I don't want to waste uh, users time just staring at this. So let's pause it. I will resume once it's done. Ah, so for some reason this was paused. I had to play it and then it started. So. I'm pretty sure I never clicked this button, but maybe it's one by one. Ah, I think we saw, remember when we saw the, uh, the option that says run once or five successive terms or that could be this one, like it will stop each time one has been success. I just you know I was surprised when I walked outside uh, out of the room uh, to my son's room and looked at what he's doing then I noticed that uh, uh, internet is up and running because the modem has all blue and something was being streamed from Roku uh, this app uh, so I was sure like yeah internet is working it's not uh, internet related so when I came, I said, okay, let me click this button, uh, the play button, <laughs> and it started working. So, now the, this video is getting longer and longer. So I am thinking to make the wrap up a uh, separate wrap up video uh, for office 365 oh sorry for OneDrive and I'm gonna pause this video here let's pause this video here at 60% and resume when it's done alright so it's done it says completed scan 55 items migration complete 103.14 megabits out of this one migrated you can choose to view report and you can get the failure global or summary report 
like if something uh, failed you can let's actually open it this way and you see Excel says Excel 365 it does not say online or oh sorry uh, 2019 or 2012 something like that 15, 16 I think uh, was the last before 19 so click on status fail my music my picture my videos probably because there is nothing in there we can check it quickly if we can go and downloads then documents and oh those were the uh, my picture or something all right so let's shoot let's go and change the settings in the and see if another user can be um, migrated with exe off actually we should actually go and see where the files are stored it gives us the link but uh, if this user is to log into one drive where he's going to see those files right we can we're gonna click save before closing we can save it we can start a new migration or we can exit out of it let's exit out of it and we are done now let's go to onedrive dot live dot com it really should have said onedrive dot office dot com cause um, it's for, no onedrive dot live should be for public like where they're giving access uh, to everybody and not for office 365 business user it's uh, not uh, professional this uh, wire of my microphone uh, keeps pushing me off all right so We don't see any here, nothing here, cause everything I think is in and first thing if you notice the flow button has gone. That uh, sync button we talked is gone. Next thing quickly we can check as well. It it has become that uh, <coughs> wrap up video right uh, OneDrive settings see how uh, do we have a 24 1024 or we have uh, 512 we have 1024 so that one did not take effect this one will modify today catalog and lists so OneDrive for business, OneDrive we can go how do we exit? Come on. These are team insights. So general for January created general for January for domain and for domain docs. So it's under communication site and all of our files for admin and 
it says 33 minutes ago and last one is we're gonna see what's in for admin we have the exe there um, so and we have everything right we have the document that we created we should have the uh, database as well so everything is here all the files and now I'm gonna upload the exact same folder for somebody else but I'm gonna first restrict uh, .exe so let's see if it says it has to be exe or exe I'm gonna put exe or e exe as well so let's go SharePoint migration run the SharePoint migration for Ali or for Aslan for that matter so each time it can ask us for the user and password hope this works okay it worked <laughs> start your first migration again same thing file share I'm gonna go with the this PC and then downloads enter the SharePoint online site where you want to migrate your content what happens if I don't put the site name I put it blank Oh, we can't go further so you have to have access uh, for this one that's a bummer so basically SharePoint is um, a file storage as well for um, and they in the back they are using OneDrive so I think that's what's happening like a user has to has the SharePoint to use the SharePoint migration tool if they want to they can use the uh, the uh, this client right there download the sync client let's get the sync client then start OneDrive OneDrive for Windows let's start it open link I'm gonna close out of that create an account or enter your email address I'm gonna give aslan at ihamid.org let him sign in so when it says start it means that uh, this one is already installed with office 365 I'm gonna exit out of these migration tool you know your OneDrive folder is here so basically that's your OneDrive folder and once you log in with this one now I should see two um, OneDrive right I'm gonna close this and close this as well open a new exit out this one relaunch it for some reason it's not showing up yet so this one is the OneDrive but it's not saying OneDrive.Charter right it's just OneDrive so this is the one that comes with the <coughs> Charter folder now oh, you're now syncing OneDrive Charter now it has been added let me go and see OneDrive personal OneDrive charter that's how I saw it uh, somewhere and I was uh, not able to so this is how you add the OneDrive you have to actually go with the um, <coughs> this little program and now let's see what happens can I copy and paste everything from my talk this is uh, OneDrive charter and let's uh, open another one another instance downloads 
new window copy everything control a I can't oh, I'm a little bit it's this one is being slow okay, copy and paste let's create a folder testing let's create a folder paste <coughs> status run as admin is computable shooting view so these are the views these are the home tab that move to or copy to share if you want to create you set the sharing option from here so copy okay I want let's see no I don't want to I don't want to notice something everything status is been checked and sync pending manage these shouldn't do not should not have been let's refresh it so let's go for the user portal <coughs> Uh, one drive yep so we're gonna see if these files are there or not and I'm gonna sign in <coughs> and testing folder is there and it has this this item is new so new has that uh, spark there and it uploaded dot exe activity private and yeah even yammer got updated yep so two minutes ago <coughs> by you you see so again I think it's a latency issue what are we gonna do is we're gonna wait I'm, I'm I'm gonna make finally make the wrap-up video as well <coughs> and in that video I will see if .exe is being blocked or not or I need to put a third line that could be star.exe and save it <coughs> fixing problems alright so I will see you in the next video I'm gonna wrap this one here Thank you for watching. If this video has helped you, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And see you in the next one.